Hey guys, MB back with another video review. Um, and this is for the the Raid Two, um, the sequel to Gareth Evans' first film, The Raid. Um, this will be short and sweet. Anyone who's into martial arts knows that that first Raid film was pretty epic, groundbreaking, and amazing. Um, I'm a big martial arts film fan. I've seen a lot of them. It does get a little redundant, you know, a lot of the, the films that are out there. It's usually hard to pick and choose from which ones are the best from, you know, more of the recent recent um, martial arts fair. But that raid, when it came out, kind of blew everyone away and uh, kind of made a name for Gareth Evans. His stuff is something you should definitely watch. He hasn't done too much. I mean, I, he he worked on VHS too. His was the one uh, Safe Haven that dealt with the let's just say the cult. And if you haven't seen it, go watch it. Um, but yeah, uh, with the raid, when I saw that first one, I was really blown away. Um, intense, fast paced, brutal. Um, it felt fresh and new, um, the way it was, uh, handled the production and had a great score from, um, Shinoda from Lincoln Park, and so I never really thought they were going to do a sequel, and when that was announced, I was very hesitant, just with the fact that, like, how do you top that first film? Um, so I, I was excited, but also worried, and then when I started seeing the clips that were getting released, as well as the trailer, then I got very excited, and my worries were put to cease. This film blows the first one out of the water. That first one is great. It's almost like, you know, it's Godfather. You got to watch part one to see part two. But The Raid 2, my gosh. It is insane. From the gore and violence, which is just like numbing. I was just <laughs> numbed by what was going on in the film. It was really, and I'm a big gore hound, but the, the violence in this film was just wow. Wow, <laughs> wow, and then the the fighting once again is just just the martial arts action and violence in this film is ta is I didn't know you could top that first film. I did me thinking in my head, how do you top it? How do you top it? He's topped it in every way. So I'm not gonna go into the story. It's a good story. I like how they're making comparisons to The Dark Knight. It really takes the simple setup of the first film and expands it. He he definitely expands the universe that this film takes place in. The characters that are in it are just magnificent and original. And of course, the the centerpiece of it, of it all is the main star. I hope I say his name right. Eco Uwes or Eco Uwes, um, the main lead from the first film. He's really great. Like, he really holds the film all together. You sympathize with him. You care so much about him. And when the hits come, you're just, you, oh, you feel for this guy. But, um, yeah, definitely if you are into action films, you know about The Raid. You know you're going to see it eventually, whether it's Blu-ray or in theaters. If you can see it in theaters, see it as soon as possible. If you're lucky enough to have a theater that's playing it near you. What an awesome film. It will definitely be in my top 10 of 2014. I was... It's an achievement how you top what he did in the first film. But just a pure, amazing, brutal achievement what he did. There's one crazy set piece after another. It... Literally. It's... The, the first action set piece, great. Second one, even better. Even better, but they're all great on their own. But it's crazy how he tops each set piece after the next. I never seen anything like it so yeah the raid 2 directed by gareth evans if you can handle violence if you're a martial arts fan if you are an action fan i promise you you will not regret seeing this film it is not a waste of money i want to see it again i can't wait to own it and i can't wait to see the documentaries on the making of this film because <sighs> go see it the Raid 2. Well done film. And for my listeners in general, um, I'm going to start changing it up a little bit. Maybe I'll start, you know, doing actual videos where it's, you know, my face in front of the camera. 
as well as Blu-ray reviews. Um, I try to stay on top of the Blu-rays each week as far as what I buy and watch. Um, if you're on my Instagram, you obviously know that I'm a big collector of films. So I'm going to start doing what I see others doing on the YouTube pages and talk about their collections. Um, it's pretty cool. Um, I can't think of ways to make it more groundbreaking, but it's very cool to see people talking about their collections and sharing their films that they love, as well as the new releases. Um, so yeah, I'm going to try and change it up a little bit on here, and I'm going to try and catch some more flicks this week. Um, Transcendence came out this past weekend. I want to see that, and I missed Oculus last week, so hopefully I can jump on those. Maybe not, because I do like to keep the reviews as current as possible. Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys later.